Could everyone please take their seats? The, chair, the ranking member and I are going to have a colloquy while we are waiting for a, a few additional members, but I would appreciate everyone taking their seats. I would now ask unanimous consent that the ranking member and I have such time as we may consume to engage in an educational colloquy without objection so ordered. Over the years, Congress has mandated, if not thousands, certainly, well, has mandated thousands of reports to be prepared by Federal agencies. While each of these individual reports may have been well-meaning, most of them, in my opinion, are underutilized, poorly targeted, or, in fact, filed and forgotten. We can save taxpayer money by eliminating these unnecessary reports. This committee has periodically through the years enacted legislation eliminating unnecessary reports. Former Chairman Jack Brooks, who stands to our right holding a cigar, was a key sponsor of the Congressional Reports Elimination Act of 1980. The bill eliminated over 100 annual reports and saved over $8 million a year. We last acted in 1998 when the Federal Reports Elimination Act was enacted. In 1998 and an earlier 1995 Act together eliminated hundreds of unnecessary reports and saved millions of dollars. It has been 12 years since this committee last addressed the problem, and it is long past time that we do so. I propose to all the members of the committee, but particularly to my ranking member, that we work together to produce a bipartisan bill to eliminate unnecessary congressionally mandated reports. I believe working together with the Office of Management Budget, we can again save the taxpayers not just millions of, of, of dollars, but give the opportunity to redirect the focus of the administration toward the work at hand. Often the most important and uh, most senior members of, uh, of the administration are the ones being asked to review these reports. If these reports are essential, we will reassert them. If not, it is our goal as the Oversight and Reform Committee to ensure no matter where a report is going to, if it comes from the executive branch, we review it to determine whether it is necessary. And I would yield to the ranking member. Mr. Chairman, <clears throat> I, uh, I agree with you. I have said many times that part of our responsibility is to make sure that government functions in an effective and efficient manner. Um, it seems like almost every year we are demanding more and more reports from government. And um, as you said to me a few minutes ago, the question is who reads them? And the question is whether or not some of them have been outdated. Some of them may have been mandated years, many, many years ago. And it is quite possible that the very reason for the reports are no longer appropriate, or it, just, it may be various reasons why they may not be appropriate. The other thing that we need to look at, and I think this, this proposal comes at a timely time, when we have got the super committee meeting and we are talking about how do we use our resources, again, more effectively and efficiently, if there are reports that are not needed um, and not, not appropriate, then certainly it would be good for those uh, employees not to be taking up the time to do them. But I want to make sure that we are very careful to make sure the reports that are significant, uh, that we do make sure they keep coming. Uh, because I, I think the reports in some instances have a lot of uh, good in them. If nothing else, it keeps the folks, uh, the, the bureaucrats, uh, on their toes, knowing that they have to deliver certain information uh, on a, a yearly or every two-year basis or whatever it might be. So I look forward to working with you on that. And we can, this is something else that we can do in a bipartisan manner. I thank the gentleman. Uh, and for all of the members of the committee, every member of this committee serves on at least one other committee. Uh, I have directed the staff to prepare a joint letter 
by both myself and the ranking member that will go to each chairman, each ranking member in the administration, asking for their suggestions uh, and awareness of, of reports that may be underutilized, currently not uh, directed properly or completely unnecessary. And I thank the ranking member for his support, and we will see that that goes out uh, over the next week or so. The question, you know, I guess technically we are back in session, so uh, the question occurs on the Cummings Amendment, which was previously uh, uh, made part of a roll vote. So uh, with that, the clerk will call the roll on the Cummings Amendment previously asked for. Mr. Issa? No. Mr. Issa votes no. Mr. Burton? Mr. Micah? Mr. Micah votes no. Mr. Platts? Mr. Platts votes no. Mr. Turner? Mr. Turner votes no. Mr. McHenry? Mr. Jordan? Mr. Jordan votes no. Mr. Chaffetz? Mr. Chaffetz votes no. Mr. Mack? Mr. Mack votes no. Mr. Wahlberg? Mr. Wahlberg votes no. Mr. Lankford? Mr. Lankford votes no. Mr. Amash? Mr. Amash votes no. Ms. Burkle? Ms. Burkle votes no. Dr. Gosar? Dr. Gosar votes no. Mr. Labrador? Mr. Labrador votes no. Mr. Meehan? Mr. Desjardins? Mr. Desjardins votes no. Mr. Walsh? Mr. Gowdy? Mr. Gowdy votes no. Mr. Ross? Mr. Ross votes no. Mr. Ginta? Mr. Ginta votes no. Mr. Farenthold? Mr. Farenthold votes no. Mr. Kelly? Mr. Kelly votes no. Mr. Cummings? Mr. Cummings votes aye. Mr. Towns? Mrs. Maloney? Ms. Norton? Mr. Kucinich? Mr. Kucinich votes aye. Mr. Tierney? Mr. Clay? Mr. Clay votes aye. Mr. Lynch? Aye. Mr. Lynch votes aye. Mr. Cooper? Aye. Mr. Cooper votes aye. Mr. Connolly? Mr. Connolly votes aye. Mr. Quigley? Mr. Davis? Mr. Braley? Mr. Welch? Mr. Welch votes aye. Mr. Yarmouth? Mr. Murphy? Aye. Mr. Murphy votes aye. Ms. Spear? Aye. Ms. Spear votes aye. Uh, the gentleman is not recorded. Uh, Who is talking? Uh, Mr. McHenry votes no. <laughs> Mr. Tierney? Uh, Mr. Tierney votes aye. Does anyone else seek recognition to be recorded? The gentleman from Indiana, Mr. Burton. Mr. Burton. Mr. Meehan. Mr. Meehan votes no. Is Mr. Burton? Mr. Burton, you are not recorded. Mr. Burton votes Good no. Does anyone further seek recognition? If not, the clerk will report. On that vote, Mr. Chairman, there are 10 ayes, 20. The amendment is not agreed to. If there is no further discussion, the question is on the amendment in the nature of a substitute. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed, no. No. In the opinion of the Chair, the ayes have it. The ayes have it. I now move that the Committee on Oversight and Government Reform report H.R. 373 to the House with the recommendation that the bill do pass as amended. The question is on favorably reporting House Resolution 373 to the House. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, no. In the opinion of the Chair, uh, a roll call, or the opinion of the Chair, the ayes have it. The, a roll call is requested. The clerk will call the roll. Mr. Issa. Aye. Mr. Issa votes aye. Mr. Burton. Aye. Mr. Burton votes aye. Mr. Micah. Mr. Micah votes aye. Mr. Platts. Mr. Platts votes aye. Mr. Turner. Mr. Turner votes aye. Mr. McHenry. Mr. McHenry votes aye. Mr. Jordan. Mr. Jordan votes aye. Mr. Chaffetz. Mr. Chaffetz votes aye. Mr. Mack. Mr. Mack votes aye. Mr. Wahlberg. Mr. Wahlberg votes aye. Mr. Langford. Mr. Langford votes aye. Mr. Amash. Mr. Amash votes aye. Ms. Burkle. Mr. Ms. Burkle votes aye. Mr. Gosar. Mr. Gosar votes aye. Mr. Labrador. Mr. Labrador votes aye. Mr. Meehan. Mr. Meehan votes aye. Mr. Desjardins? Yes. Mr. Desjardins votes aye. Mr. Walsh? Mr. Gowdy? Mr. Gowdy votes aye. Mr. Ross? Aye. Mr. Ross votes aye. Mr. Ginta? 
Mr. Ginta votes aye. Mr. Farenthold? Aye. Mr. Farenthold votes aye. Mr. Kelly? Aye. Mr. Fer Kelly votes aye. Mr. Cummings? Aye. Mr. Cummings votes no. Mr. Towns? Mrs. Maloney? Ms. Norton? Mr. Kucinich? Mr. Kucinich votes no. Mr. Tierney? No. Mr. K Tierney votes no. Mr. Clay? No. Mr. Clay votes no. Mr. Lynch? No. Mr. Lynch votes no. Mr. Cooper? No. Mr. Cooper votes no. Mr. Connolly? No. Mr. Connolly votes no. Mr. Quigley? Mr. Davis, Mr. Braley, Mr. Welch, Mr. Welch votes no. Mr. Yarmouth, Mr. Murphy, Mr. Murphy votes no. Mr. Uh, Ms. Spear, Ms. Spear votes no. Mr. Who came in? Uh, oh, Ms. Maloney, you're not recorded. Ms. Maloney votes no. Does anyone else seek recognition? The clerk will report. Oops. Do we have one more? Mr. Davis, how would you like to vote on this? No. Mr. Davis votes no. The clerk will report. On that vote, Mr. Chairman, 22 ayes, 12 noes. And the, the amendment in the form of substitute is agreed to. The ayes have it. The motion is agreed to, and H.R. 373 is ordered reported to the House. I ask unanimous consent that the staff be authorized to make necessary and conforming technical changes to the bill reported today. Without objection, unanimous consent is agreed to, and I want to thank all of you for a successful markup, and we stand adjourned. <laughs>